Today we will be looking at how to use AppScale, an open source implementation of the Google App Engine cloud computing interface from the Race Lab at UC Santa Barbara. For today's demonstration, we will run AppScale over three virtualized machines that have already been configured for use with AppScale. We have also created a YAML file with the IP addresses of the three machines. We then can run AppScale via one command named AppScale Run Instances. This single command will handle deploying AppScale across the three nodes specified by the IP's command line flag. The table flag tells AppScale which database is to be used. As of AppScale 1.1, HBase, Hypertable, and MySQL are currently supported. Finally, the file flag denotes a tarball containing the user's Google App Engine app to also be uploaded into AppScale. Every app has a notion of an administrator, so we now need to enter in the email address and password desired for the app's administrator. Now all that remains is to sit back and wait for AppScale to finish starting up. Now that our app is started, let's see it in action. The run instances command tells us the URL that our app can be found at, so let's put it in our web browser. We can see from the address bar that we have been redirected from our original URL to one of the other machines in our installation. We then can simply interact with the app in identical fashion to how we would use the app on Google's platform. This screen we see here is not part of the application, however. It is what the user sees when an app requires the user to log into the system. Thus we enter in the username and password from before and log in. As is the case with Google's hosting platform, the user is presented with a final screen asking them to confirm that their information will be forwarded to this application. We click Yes to proceed. We now are at the original application we deployed and are logged into the system, as we can see from the upper right hand corner. We then use the app as normal. We begin by creating a new task list. We then can populate the list. We end by publishing our list so that others can view it. If an administrator wants to terminate their running AppScale instance, they simply run AppScale Terminate Instances. This concludes today's introduction to the basic tools of AppScale.